Welcome back to Rogue Trader. Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, that is. Um, we played this one a week ago. I think a week ago. Six days ago. We didn't get through the entire prologue yet. Seems to be pretty... Um, you know... Stuffed. But we're also doing uh, Dare Drop stuff currently. With a sponsored stream from Dare Drop. Oh, thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity with more Warhammer. So, that also means this thing. Uh, you probably struggle to see this one. There you go, it should be easier. So, if we do specific things, we get keys for the community. Like we've given a lot around, given out a lot of keys during my 24 hour streams and whatever. So, if I complete the prologue, I get a deluxe pack for viewers. I wonder if that's only DLC or not. Maybe not. This is at least a Steam key for hosting a streamer that plays Rogue Trader. We could do that. Complete Chapter 1. That, I'm considering I haven't completed the prologue yet. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to complete Chapter 1 as of now. Start a romance in Chapter 2 already. So, I mean, the deluxe pack is possible. Hoping that the deluxe pack is going to be actual full game or not. And then just a stream trade key. I'm thinking maybe just DLC, but, you know can maybe do this one. Hopefully. Okay, continue, continue. Yeah. You've enjoyed quite a bit of its costume. Good to hear, good to hear. Uh, I have also seen a little bit more of it. I saw Greyhound Girl play a little bit. And it looks pretty solid. I mean, there's got some bugs to it, of course. But uh, that's kind of how the Pathfinder Rapid Righteous people. Owl Cat Games, is that what it's called? That's how they do. You're doing two runs right now. One heretical, one dogmatic. Oh, cool. Yeah, the thing is, like, for me, I'm quite interested because I just don't know anything about Warhammer lore. And I think this one is the best one to currently one of the best ones to get into the lore more than it is to, like, fight and play the game, if you know what I'm saying. Hello. So we've gotten to the part where we're busting out the place. We got kind of double crossed. I won't tolerate weakness. But now we're not double crossed anymore. Hopefully. Uh, we're bringing a lot of parties. She in came prayer. in. I don't think you saw I got her in my party last time. We just walked to a different screen and she started shooting stuff. Maybe we did that, can't remember. Can also read a lot of wiki stuff, which we will do. Uh, I mean, at least for the dialogues. There'll be many, many dialogues we'll be reading. Cool. So yeah, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of giving the inventory space by being here in this corner, I see. We'll see with the dialogue. Let's just go forward a little bit. Is it this door? Return to track everybody. Elevator, or did I just come out of the elevator to go here? The upper decks. No, don't take the camera across. Loot. Well, there's a bunch of loot. Did I miss all this? I'm gonna go towards the loot. Where are we? <laughs> okay. Goods. Oh, this should possibly be new then. Good. Yeah, I've heard the lore of the game is generally a little bit insane though. It's Follow just... My lead. The world kind of blows over multiple times. Everything can exist. Fallen steel has blocked the path of the lifts. You will have to look for another way to Edelthran. No, but we know there's loot around these corners. I'll lay claim to the stars.
Hello? You all right? I mean, I thought I came through here. Why is there so much loot still? I think I busted through this door. I did. None shall stand in my way. And it's now blocked. So there's just a bunch of loot that I missed. All right, that's okay. Yeah, but the thing is, apparently I did leave the area without looting everything, so that I feel kind of bad now. Let's just go here. Guys, go there. Where's the... Oh, I won't go. tolerate weakness. A little louder than normal. I warn you if I hear anything. I remember last time I had to, like, up it to 100%. Because of how how low it was. Though there's how could there be like two oh there it is. Um date the conduit cable coil. Monomolecular edged bayonets. Diamantine and profane blades. Is there a button to collect all I always press space? Is my giving my Bethesda space? Pack this cargo trophies. It's about time. It's about time. I mean, are we going down, guys? There's an elevator. This says Lord Captain's Quarters over there, though. Let me go see my current quest log. What am I missing? A separate lift leads to Theodora von Valencia's personal quarters, officer's deck. Uh, rogue trader Theodora von Valencius desires to personally meet with the person recently brought aboard a flight. We, yeah, 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 we know this. Reach the secret lift. The secret lift. All right. Victory awaits. To leave, you collect the remaining trophies. Collect. Okay. I guess this is the one. Aha. Uh -huh. Visual glitch. Please tell us what kind of main character you created. Oh, yes, of course. Let's see if we get a cutscene or not at this point. I made a kind of a... His uh, idea is to be quite commanding and high on himself. But at the same time, I had the struggle to say no to somebody in need of help. We Baldurius, a ravishing. I have not too many hours into the game, like three hours into the game. Something in the prologue, but it's pretty good so far. It's got some small bugs, but it's really interesting as the CRPG goes. And a lot of Warhammer lore, which is I'm interested about. You pause the game. Give me info. See. So, my dude, um, Baldurius, can I show him like his uh, table of elements here? Archetypes. Operative archetype. I chose to give him a lot of intelligence and like leadership mentality, so he knows a lot of stuff. So you can see here, intelligence is 45, it's the current highest stat. I'm going a little across the board because I'm not really sure where to go still, you know, I know I'm not sure about the game strength or whatever, so I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Logic and willpower, you see, coercion, tech use, extras. Look at this guy, man. What a proud dude. No, oh, I missed my desk for my album. You play Warhammer, own books, wumps, play the TTRPG and the tabletop game. So much lore. You don't even know. See, you don't even know. Crazy. It's a deep system, Irishman. You can spend a ton of time in the level up menu. Yeah. I'm excited to get more of it done. I kind of wanted to play more of it, but I was just so busy. But now that I found another opportunity to play the game again, to get keys and to get sponsored, yeah, and say, like, I'm going to make room for this. Von Valencius? You beehive, you're down! I guess I would be the new heir now already. I just picked up my coffee mug. Can you guys move I'll without me? Claim to the stars. Can you... <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Fine, I'll put the mug down. 
put the mark down. Fine, fine. I'll put the mark down. Jesus, calm down. A bizarre... Wh bye. A bizarre fragment hung on a trophy board. The light, smooth surface of the object is dotted with dark spots and crumbling holes. It's mugging. shall stand in my way. None shall stand... Goods! Also known as the officer that's dead on the floor. Oh, he's got a helmet. Can't be equipped by this character. Helmet of the Devoid Protector requires dogmatic follower. All right. Can you do it? Can you do it? Am I changing character by doing this? Maybe. Can be equipped. Uh huh. Add to inventory. Da 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 da. Hello. Items and convictions. My face. Actually, not too bad. I'll be here. I'll stay here. You found an item that only can only be equipped by characters or of a certain conviction rank. You can open the character menu to see which conviction your character follows. Note that both your character and their companions have their own convictions. You can check what conviction character uh, character adheres to on the convictions tab in the character menu. Convictions change in direction and rank based on how the game's story... Oopsie, there was more if I scrolled. I didn't scroll. Um, conviction. I'm pressing C. Convictions. I know my abilities, my archetypes. Reputation is not conviction. Chab. Help, Chab. This is turn-based, yeah. Not like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. But like Baldur's Gate 3. Isn't that interesting? Now we need to make that distinction. Biographia. Archetype. Uh, is this my um, conviction? My fanatic? Your Puritan. Dogmatic. Oh, I see. Here it is. Dogmatic. Okay. So she had... She was... Uh, yeah, so she's third level dogmatic. Cool, cool. And I am nothing. I'm a little bit of an iconoclast. Above the thundering guns. Now she's just, um, she's a dogmatic, so. This is Puritan. Good. Puritan is the good one, fanatic is the bad one. At least if you think about that. Reputation you gain from trading all the stuff you pack into cargo. Into cargo? Third level cultist. I'm not a cultist, that's dogmatic. Dogmas. Dogmas, dogmas, dogmas. Christmas dogmas. I need to do this one. Do I just say this one? Yeah, that's better. All right. Move on, Follow move on. Lead. Follow my lead. Loud? I'm looking at my audio mix. I need to do this one. Now he's not going to do it anymore. Okay. Did I miss any loot? I won't tolerate weakness. I did. <gasps> the big loot box. <gasps> a cape! Yes, plus five fellowship for each enemy in a two cell radius. Ooh. But fellowship for each enemy cell radius. But it's a cape. I want the cape. For my main character. The murder scene looks like something caught by the victim by surprise. Okay, I need to be over here. So you can see what's going on. There we go. I can zoom in and make it a little bit smaller as well. If I make myself smaller. Aha. Um, Theodora von Valance's body is sprawled on the large, blood-drenched desk. The arch militant's corpse, still clutching a weapon, is slumped against one of the bulkheads. Who would even dare? 
unless that rat Voidfear. Yeah, the Voidfear guy was the one who tricked me too. Hmm. You're almost certainly. He loathed Theodora. First, betrayal. Now, the, the murder of the rogue trader. And Mort. The Flying Skull? How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. I'm trying to see. Yeah, my normal computer noises gets blocked out now. It's a little bit more louder now. It's on my desk side. Uh, I just wanted want to check that. That's realistic, right? I, I can look at things in my own way. Kind of. If you find something, something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me. And I'll try to see what secrets it holds. Yeah, kind of when I hear it crying, that's awkward. If it's really uncomfortable, I just say like, eh, it sounds real to me. Because what is laugh? Laughter sometimes sounds fake as well. You know, laughter sounds fake, some crying can sound fake. But if it sounds awkward or like, oh, it sounds uncomfortable. Not something like you like to put on. Then I say like, eh, that sounds real to me. You wouldn't want to put that on. And um, examine the um, Theodora's body. You lean closer to the body. The cause of death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot. An extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise, the last emotions he experienced in life. Something on the floor catches your eye. A heap of blood-spattered parchments and scrolls that must have fallen off the desk. As you lean down for a closer look, you notice something. Something else. Small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Idira, would you try touching Theodora? You might be able to see the killer through her eyes. It doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of objects. But dead bodies are a different story. Something like that would require her soul. Mm. And after what we saw on the officer's deck, I won't risk searching for it in the warp. Inspect the shards by the desk. It's difficult to say what exactly was broken. The object fell on the floor, and that is as much as you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they had been submerged in Prometheum. What does these shards tell you, Dira? I see streaks of color, luminescence, blue lights, faces drawing closer. Lady Theodora and Conrad. And what is that? Ah! Something dark, enormous. Oh, this glass thing was something foul, that's for sure. Tainted witchcraft. You can't tell if Argenta's remark is directed at the glass shards or Idira herself. Examine the arch militant's body. An auto pistol shot went straight through Mort's forehead, spraying the floor and the furniture around with blood, brain matter, and shards of his skull. The safety of the arch militant's weapon is off. The killer must have been a split second quicker than he. Unless he shot. Bang. Then they shot. Bang. Conspiracy. Bang boozled. Spec the papers. Reports, accounts, dispatches. You go over the scrolls until you stumble upon a document that is starkly different from the rest. It is a handwritten letter signed with initials XC, and the seal with a symbol that is vaguely familiar to you. Handwritten letter with a seal. Imperium has succeeded. 
Uh, did we win? I need to have like a, a, a success noise, but I just got like <laughs> success noise. It sends a shiver down your spine. The author of this letter addressed to Theodora von Valencius. Sign it with the seal of one of the holy orders of the Emperor's Inquisition. The secret police of the Imperium that relentlessly hunts heretics, Xenos, and other enemies of humanity. We had best be on our way. Yes, the crucible of battle calls to me once more. Yes, fighting is great. No, wait. We must see if ah. we can find anything. Fighting is bad. Idira, you can't bring her back. Let her go. Yes, let's keep you it simple. You give up so easily, old man? I expected as much from the sister. It's not like she has a heart. But you? Oh, no. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murdering the Lord Captain. And when I do, that scum will regret the day they were born. I mean, she's into it. There's more loot, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Theodore's rosary. Gains tend to commerce. Alright. My dude, get the cape on. Oh, you look beautiful. You do, you do. It's. I don't know why it was red, though, but it's not red. You can see it's supposed to be red. But I'll take a little bit of blue. It's okay. What about those little... Oh, look at that. You can't see it. Can you see it under here? No, you got too much fluffy here. I call this the shotgun shell here. Meh. <laughs> His face becomes so truncated as soon as you put this helmet on. You love capes. Everybody loves capes. At least in their medievals. Fantasy. That's mine, at least. My medievals. I love my medievals in my fantasy hats. I mean, capes. I think fantasy hats are cool if they're wizard hats. I like big wizard hats. Hello. I will deliver furious retribution. Combat servitor. Can I get that HUD again? Oh, now we're just like uh, we're creating the the back line here. Idira. So I'm the sniper. Uh, Abelard is the um, the dingus. Maybe Idira, you can take a little bit of crack back here, huh? Magenta, you go there. I'll do go here. And you, you're kind of in the center. You want to just be up front about it? I don't know. Maybe take some of the take some of the action. I block can do it. Okay, light and medium armor. Hey, Lelouch, how you doing? Sky, you remember Neverwinter Nights didn't have capes at launch, but after they released two expansions, they patched them in. Yeah, and they took good advantage of the capes, I would say. Everyone has wires coming out of their heads. Looks uncomfortable. It's Warhammer. It's hammering wires to their face. It's part of the deal. Uh, armor protects the character from incoming damage. Light and medium armor types are both available to you at the moment. Armor that state indicates what percent of incoming damage from an enemy attack it can absorb. The type of armor also influences the chances that the character wearing it will pass a dodge test. The higher dodge penalty, the lower the chance to dodge an enemy attack. Captain light armor dodges and attacks more often, but takes more damage more takes more damage when hit. Medium armor absorbs more. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we know this. Basic CRPG stuff. You, my friend, will have to charge. Wait, why can't we charge? Oh, he's using his wrong weapon. X. Shift two. For me and you. It will be done. Well, I would well like you to charge in here so I can actually do a cleave attack, but that didn't happen, so that's unfortunate. Wait. Indeed. Nope. I, I thought maybe he would walk in and do the squads like that. That did not happen. At your back and forth. At your back and forth? It's okay, my friend. I got your back. Uh, expose weakness. 1 AP. We shoot. 
Suits my purposes. Suits my purposes. And then you should. That's a strong guy right there. It's five to eight. Maybe you're not got the best bullet for this. Okay, you just shoot this guy. Your Take the sound a little bit down while we're in combat. Not a problem for me. Not a problem. You sell me, and I still have analyzed enemies. One creature within the sound radius. And this is different from weekends. Exploits. Nothing I can't do. Doing good, just waking up. Hope you move on today. Uh, we did. We finished. Uh, Mario is missing. Finally, that game took uh, 14 hours plus to beat. I think it was 14 hours. Well, how many hours was it? For an entertainment game, that game lasted too long. You know? Wait, how are we doing over here? I'm doing going over this, right? There. I'm okay. Enemy status. You will encounter enemies with various abilities and features in Nikon to the next. An enemy in Port Inquisitor under the influence of some kind of effect. Click right mouse button for details. Uh, right, click them for details. There you are. So that's their effects condition heavily damaged. It's damage, hit chance, and wounds are greatly reduced. Expose weakness, exploit, that's from us. So he's just like damaged because he's damaged, I guess. It's from himself, so. Weapons, passive, part machine. Gains deflection, armor, and suffers minus 20 to dodge. All right, who are we now? We're the lady who shoot. The lady who shoot, and this is two to four damage? Not good, no bueno. Can I, um, Splibbed. That's run and gun. Hmm. We shooting. Faith without deeds is worth eradicated. Well, we did run and gun. Same. The soldier gains plus four MP. Their next attack costs minus one MP less and does not count toward the attack per turn. Oh, and then becomes winded. I thought we can do that, then. I guess we become winded. I thought we are going to actually run again there. And now for my favorite. I mean, sure, her bar is kind of degraded a little bit still. But I love using the... Um, what was it? This one. The lightning arc. Oh, is it good? Anything else? Sorry, Abelard. Sorry. <laughs> but her, she she gets veil screwed. We gotta calm her down. I don't know how to calm her down. That is not my destiny. Was was that you? Or yeah, Abelard can take it, man. He's in front of them. He can do it. Forewarning. Increases targets dodge and power by turn until the combat. Else? Should be good. Oh, he's trying to get away from me, cutie. Oh, Ow. Bye. Damn stormtrooper. Hmm. It's dodging behind there. Victory is imminent. I will do my I took care of this one. I like I took care of this one. All too easy. Combat log, click on or action to learn more about it. Cut checking the combat log. Who's the combat log? Where combat log on an event or action to learn more about it? The com combat log is it here? 
Combat log, cor cargo manager. Where'd you get the combat log from? He said, click on the combat log. Chat. Hip! Like, I know what's going on, and I know a lot of things going on here. It's a button at the bottom right. Log. That wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. All right. Just a tiny little log there. I'll pass. I'll pass. Suits my purposes. I'll do it. Amazing. I got a double click. Ooh, nice dodge, buddy. That's not the Seneschal's job. Ah! Ah! At your beck and call. It will be done. Already done. There's nowhere Ooh. to hide. Just a little bit. Ooh, ah. Uh, a little bit more. Ooh, ah. Uh, just a little bit. Shoot, ah. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Loot everything. Um, swords, swords. Less pistol, grace of the oblivious. The gains plus five toughness if the intelligence is less than 35. Cute. Cute. Abelard? Abelard. Yes, it is. Uh, I, I didn't make any choices yet. Special choose talent. Okay, here we go. My face is in the way. Hey, that. It's a juicy grid. Argenta never hit him. Um, Tide of Excellence when an operative triggers an exploit or an, an enemy. The operative gains plus one damage and plus two armor penetration. That's pretty nice. Because I do have extra exploit stuff. Triggers an exploit on enemy. Oh, it's triggering it. Still okay. Expose weakness. Also reduce enemy's toughness and willpower. Minus int. Oh, that's good. They all seem pretty good. I like things that matter, you know? If have wood attacks an enemy that is at full wounds, it's 10 plus perception. Expose weakness because 0 AP. If the target of analyzed enemy has, has two or more exploits, the target suffers one additional one. Inflict despair. I mean, there's a... Okay, so... Uh, um, it's a lot of stuff. So... <laughs> <laughs> Character gains plus five. Wait, is this possible? Wait, 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 wait. Can I pick that? Just getting five intelligence? I can't gain that. Yeah, I can. Improve any trained characteristic, even if their archetype or origin does not allow it. That is uh, very good, though. Huh. Oh, man. There's too many. There's too many to pick. Uh-oh. You kill it. If a servant kills the targets. Oh, chat. This is recommended. This has got the thumbs up. We'll go with the thumbs up one. I like, was this the one that I liked? Reduces toughness and willpower by intelligence. I'm going to pick this one. Weak body, weak zone. To summary. And special abilities are complete. And that's the one. That's one out of four, chat. Next one. We're gonna keep ourselves within the thumbs, okay? Why are you playing a fat, greasy, hardcore baron again? Because that's who I feel like. I feel like that. He's a... 
conquest. A conqueror. And he's got shotgun shells for hair. Enemy attacks the warrior. The warrior's next melee attack against that enemy and deals an additional plus five. Eh. Enrage. If the warrior has less than 50% wounds, they gain plus five. Plus five. Oh, math. Plus five plus parentheses, toughness, agility bonus, critical hit chance. Epicenter of slaughter. Whenever the warriors attack, they gain plus one stack of epicenter of slaughter. They gain plus one temporary wound for each stack. These temporary wounds cannot exceed the warriors. One of them. Granted by certain effects. When the character suffers damage to combat, the temporary wounds are deducted first, followed by the character's regular wounds. Generally stay until the end of combat. Or lose them by suffering damage. When they gain temporary wounds from multiple sources, these temporary wounds do not stack with each other. Okay. I love numbers a lot. Isn't that good? I love when numbers go up, though. I just don't like the calculation of numbers go up or down. Thick skin, gain one damage deflection. The pirate chance increased by 25% of the warrior's total armor. Let's just go thick skin. That makes it. That's a simple. That's a simple one to live by. Uh, archetypes for Idira. Okay, can I get something that makes you calm down? I need you to be able to do veil disturbance and chill the f out. Uh, operative triggers and exploit. Nah, weak body, weak soul. Which enemy's toughness and willpower. She's an operative too, so she's got the same thing as the other guy. Uh, passive learning. Around this series, the same number of exploits. Um, how do I know how she gets... How should we get her out of like her... Um, her psi rating, psi power. Can I find a way to get her to calm down in a way, you know? Offense features. A locked informed head. Think silent feats are at the bottom? Warp features? Psy rating. There it is. Psy rating 1. Current level requirement 10. Fuck it. Level 20, 30, 40? Damn, we can get a high level in this game. Psychic Phenomena, or Parents of Warp, first time. The Psyker's next cycle will cost less action points. And Force Reality. Um. Oh, usage of a Heroic Trait by the Psyker decreases Veil Degradation. But I don't have a Heroic Trait, do I? Pi's Momentum is 175. We're looking for Veil Degradation. The first Psychic Power used each turn increases Veil Degradation by 2 points. If this talent reduces the effect on Veil Degradation to less than 0, it's instead decreased by 1. Huh. Do you all tend to make characters that are like you or unlike you? I... It depends for me. Usually I don't create my own character. I tend to create just something that I found funny. So we're looking for Veil Degradation. Pain Channeling Psychic Powers. I don't know, man. The only thing that was mentioned was weird stuff. Heroic act. I don't have a heroic possibility. Increases veil degradation by two points less. I'm just going to take the st stabilizing factor, because that sounds like it will help me. With the veil degradation, so I'll take that one. And now for the last one, for now. Um, this is a lot of chores. It's fun, though. Oh, she's got improvements. Firearm mastery. Soldier gains the ability to make a number of extra attacks equal to their weapon's rate of fire. Minimum 2, using the weapon's attack that normally costs the least AP. Attacks do not spend AP until the end of soldier's turn. The first attack against each new enemy automatically scores a critical hit. Hey. Each new enemy reloads it. 
Nothing found. That's psychic power, though. Rapid reload. Reading costs two less AP. Rack and ruin. So deals damage. Some camaraderie. Camera okay, so that could be close to somebody else. Gains more agility. Oh, she's got 50 agility. Crit chance. Suppose it's doubling against enemies from which the soldier is protected by cover. Oh, I like that one. Cover increase. Let's do unpredictable. I like crits. There we are. Okay, that's our leveling up. We did it. We leveled up. And we have this pendant. The intel this is less than 35. And did I call on the phone? No, I don't think so. Something was vibrating. Anyway. Um, this is for Abelard, I would say. You get this silly little uh, pendant, plus toughness. Because you're not too intelligent, you're cute. And there we go. And that would be the Voyager Bridge. Which we are now going to, I would say. Yep. A new Wood challenge bridge. For me. I need to get the water, cause um wait, where are we going now? Oh. <laughs> I guess the only place we can go. It was just like there were no gray location. But I forgot my water. I forgot my water. Hold on here a little second. It's amazing how quick I can just put my uh, air plugs down and immediately, like, where I got them, like, hooked up in some sort of knot. The first sacrifice opens the eye. The second sacrifice draws its gaze. Yeah, walk louder, please. Edelthrad, who is clutching a bleeding wound on his chest, gives you a tormented look. Help has arrived. Too late to change the tide, I'm afraid. But if, if there is any honor in you, we can at least die with dignity and give our lives for the rogue trader. Where is he? That's the one in the... On the... Um, lying against the fucking pillar there, the steel pillar. You look dreadful. Edelfrand winces, which only makes his grimace worse. I'm still standing, and I have enough strength in me for one more fight. All that really concerns me is this. Where is the Lord Captain? Hey, Theodora von Falancius is dead. I found her and the Arch Militant in their study. Edelfrand's eyes widen. God, Emperor Preservus. The rogue trade is dead? The ship has lost her lord captain, and the house its head. Edelfrand shudders and grabs his shoulder. As you watch, the sleeve of his jacket bursts open, and two bone groves pierce through the fabric. <laughs> no matter what ritual Conrad is performing there, the warp is too strong. I can't withstand it. I feel my body changing with every second, the warp ringing in the air. This is the end. We will perish in the warp, along with the warrant and all the dynasty heirs. The enemy of humanity has triumphed. Edira looks anxiously at Edelthrad as he glances back at you. I've seen it before. We'd better... we'd better get away from him. 
The changes are only accelerating. Uh, I forbid you the very thought of yielding. Only by resigning to your fate will you truly suffer defeat. Words worthy on the righteous soul. Save the lofty words for later, William. The navigator is ready to take the ship out of the warp if he gets some help from the bridge. Elfrad stares at you, and his eyes harden with cold resolve once more. Then we have no right to bow our heads. Killing, killing, very funny killing. Happy killing, killing fun. You can see Conrad Voigtveer clearly in the gloom of the bridge. The broken blade he is holding is stained with dark drops that seem to have a pearlescent glimmer to them. We're out of time. Edelfrad bites his knuckle, desperately thinking. You see a wave ripple across the whites of Edelfrad's eyes, and they begin to turn a sickly yellow. Edelfrad <laughs> complicates things. I'll say to the party, Ready your weapons! If we were to die this day, let us die with honor. No, Baldurius. To die altogether is to allow the flame of the dynasty to perish in the dark. No, it would not be like this. Not today. Edelfrad lowers his head, and then he sighs and locks eyes with you. His gaze cold, haughty, and fanatical. The ritual will not be completed. I'll take care of it. And you see to it that the void ship breaks free from the wall. Watch over our realm, and farewell. Cast a traitor. A time will come when you will bleed for her ladyship. Theodore's murder. Remember my words, for they are the vow of he who martyrs toward his death. What? Theodora is dead? Voigtvee stares at you in seemingly genuine bewilderment. No, oh, that can't be. Not now, I still haven't... Killed enough people. Your ritual won't be finished, heretic! I killed another one, I win. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this looks so silly. Yeah. Are you okay, Edel Thread? You okay? Ranks. Bye, camera. Now there's momentum. To use the unique abilities called heroic acts or desperate measures, momentum is required. Depending on the actions of your party in combat, the momentum bar will increase or decrease. A high momentum value allows the character to use a heroic act. A low value grants access to desperate... Wait. Did we crash? Chad, are we okay? Am I here? We Gucci? Okay, my OBS went not responding for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, everything's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine, it's just my OBS almost crashing. I'm, I, if I'm honest, I am not even worried, like, one bit. That's, like, normal. But when you know the screen, when you know the Windows screen turns into the white color at the top, you know, when you have the black mode on, but the Windows screen turns white, you're like, oh shit, this isn't supposed to happen. To use the unique ability, blah, 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 high momentum value allows us to use a heroic act. A low value grants access to desperate measures. Both abilities can completely change the course of a battle. But every party member can either use one or the other and only once in a single combat. Okay. OBS being OBS. I wish in the future I would get to use my OBS, OBS better. But for now, the OBS is very, very not working. And maybe in the future, I get it to be better than what it is. Who am I using? My dude first. Baldurius goes there. Actually, you can go there. And Abelard. I mean, I, we know you're going to be... What is, is there room in between here? No, there isn't. I mean, you might as well go here. And we'll stay behind. Are they going to help me? Maybe they will. 
enemy status. You can count enemies with various abilities. We know about these. I guess at one point I'm just going to have to take it off. Is that it? Maybe. Okay, so we're going to do an exposed weakness. Nothing I can't do. Analyzer one. Not a problem for me. Is there an escalate combat speed uh, thing here? Options. Game. Speed. Combat speed. I mean, I'm not expecting it, but if it is, I'll take it. Turn based mode. Speed is already at five. All right. Combat speed settings on demand. Always? Adjust combat speed settings. They can be on, always, off, never. Wait, is this a button? So how do I... Can I just press a button to speed up when I want to, though? Never figured it out. Let's see if we got um, always on. Just want to see how much it changes. Two. Suits my That's definitely faster. Now we're talking. Hey, you. All too easy. This is going to take its hits, isn't it? Good shot. Uh, you might as well reload. I don't want you to do anything specific yet. The recital is um, three momentum for each enemy that is either in this fire cell radius. We don't need that. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. I'm so excited. I get to reload. I get to reload. I get to reload. Mm. Uh, it's a little... This uh, whole combat speed thing, I don't know if it's... Um, if it's entirely um, uh, balanced. <laughs> She's too... Is it too many cups of coffee? Uh, that's That looks uh, looks about correct to me. What if we just take it off for now and see what happens on demand? There's probably a button for combat speed. She's fucked up. All right. <laughs> now let's go to the settings. Let's see if we can find the key for that. Uh, okay. Controls. General. Cargo management. We need to do that stuff too. Skip scene. Speed up enemies. Hold space. Hold space on demand. Now you learn. You gotta learn today. You can disable the speed up for movement specifically. No, no, no. We got it. We got it. We can hold space now. Okay, she is high on veil. That's not good for us right now. Look at her. She's so excited. I mean, I guess we could both go there and, and, and hit it. There is movement. There's one AP to strike. We'll do. Expose weakness. Exploit stack six out of a hundred. <laughs> She's just jostling. She's wiggling, man. Toxic expert within the area of a 12 cell radius. Wait, that's a 9 cell radius. Oh, within the area effect or a 12 cell radius. I know what is to come. 
I guess this will really work. Why can I like... Oh, I have zero, okay. That's unfortunate. You okay there? She's fine. So I can stack more. Oh, yeah, that's fine. How is how much is exposed now? Excuse me, where's the exposed? It was at six. Well, we just had six exposed, and I don't see it anymore. Argenta, calm down. I'm trying to think. We'll do. Beauty. It'll be her turn eventually. She can move again. At your back and forth. At your back and forth. Or at your back and call, maybe? At your back and forth sounds cool, too. Victory is imminent. At your back and forth. Probably has opportunity attack. Uh, would opportunity attack be listed or is it just like expected from LA? I'm going to just expect it from this guy. They're not hitting me, are they? It's me time. So this is like. Immediately gains plus three exploits. Exploring weakness is up it removes all exploits. Oh, it removes all exploits to decrease target's dodge by minus ten plus exploit stack times three percent. God, it's so mathematical. Already done. Suits my purpose. Well, that was rude. Did you eat your friends and you healed? Maybe I should have read about that. Devourer. Restoring thirds of the target's maximum wounds. And that toxic spurted me as well. Okay. And now I see what was going on there. That was a reactionary attack? Yes, that was my turn again. Again, it's your turn again. Do you want to keep Jocelyn or are you okay? It says it's gonna damage it, but it doesn't see percentages. I'll shoot this with 95%. Uh. Oh, she calmed down. She's good. She's good, Janet. Oh, I can't move afterwards. We did that. My bad. A knockdown? Stop it. Stop it! I think we're fine. He's gonna run out of cutthroats to heal with, right? So. What is this foreboding? I missed it parried. Shit. Nice shoot, Overseer. Ow. Okay, Baldurius. How would you find the shot here? Can you go back here and do it? Uh, 
I guess I can ready up though. How exposed is it now? I don't understand the exp it's there it is stack five out of a hundred. There it is. And this is expose the weakness. Decrease the target's dodge power and armor by minus ten plus exploit stacks plus I don't know how to calculate that. That's great. That's probably nice. I'll just shoot it normally, thank you. Sixty six. As the Emperor commands, I act. Why you shoot so bad? Should probably do more shots. This shoots shot count four, yeah. Should do that more. Just in toxic spurt. Well, this is looking good. I might have to... Oh, her... I didn't do that! So we dodged it. Did you see that? She walked around because of the toxic sludge. Because he used more movement points, so he walked... <laughs> she walked that way. <laughs> she took an opportunity attack to her face almost because of that. What? I'm not... I just turned around and you... What is that kind of a response? Combat log, please. Um... What happened there? Deals 21 damage. Just... Wait, Idira Id dodged. Toughness. Uses Psychic Staff, Lightning Arc. What what happened? Why did uh, why did it attack? Wait, did she move? No, we're still in the diagonal square. Use a range attack in melee, so that gives an opportunity attack. I know this advantage could be a thing, but okay. But I was being hit at, wasn't I? <laughs> That's a I'm not used to that. Didn't even say it, did it? Dodge, running damage to a D-Run. It didn't like us. I know it doesn't like us. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. As we go. Yeah, I'm going to make some mistakes because of video games. We'll do. We can keep doing the forewarning. Wait, this oh oh oh, oh for warning increases my degradation. That's not good. Oh yeah, so this is still toxic sludge. Is this or just a green goo? Okay. Let's do some enduring. Some enduring enduring. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! He shot Idira twice! You're on my side, you asshole! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Ooh, 30 creds. Thing cleanses the body. 
The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Like, looking at this area... Yeah, can I please just... So, what I'd like to do is, like in Divinity Original Sin, is to go here and I would like to, like, okay. Okay, where does the goo end and where does it begin? Hmm? You know? You know what I'm saying? Is that only me? Is that uh, only me? Like, I don't know what's going on here. And I can't spot it. I can't hold over it. And does it end here? This seems to be at the corner. It would be nice if they added a little bit of an indicator there. I will bathe you know? this battlefield in righteous fury. This is very, like, where does it end? This it is in the grids. Anybody who's played it, is it just stupid? <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, is it just, like, really badly shown? Or is there a button we can press to hold and hover all the everything? And see exactly, like, what's going on here. It's just crap. Okay. Great. Good to know. I mean, uh, you know, the thing is, we get spoiled when we play, but the thing is, Original Sin 2 is pretty long time ago, right? So, I usually, in that way, I'd say... Um, or maybe we do a Furious Momentum. Also, we can see three momentum for each enemy. Five cell radius. Two, three, four, five. I don't know. I'm just gonna actually go. Rejoice in battle. So, running gun would be good for now. Plus four MP. MP would be movement points. Um, it's cost less AP. We don't really need less AP. Let's shoot. Let's make sure we shoot on this hex instead of that because the deer was gonna die. Oh, I, I, oh. I love shooting myself. Okay, she's in line. Yeah, talk to yourself, Avalon. Hey, hey, crit. That was easy. No <laughs> threat there. The biggest threat was the, the guard, to be honest with you. The guard who shot me to death, almost. Alright, buddy. The goods. Give me the goods. Blade shard. We got some gloves of endurance. So another wearer of these gloves gets an injury or unconscious. Their allies gain a plus one to damage. Ooh, and the hero wizard mantle requires iconoclast. Even the better thing now. Each heroic act used in battle increases the wearer's dodge. Well, don't really need that though for my main dude. I'm kind of sniping on the on the other side. Does Abelard have uh, iconoclast? Let's see here. He does have a little bit of iconoclast. Okay, we give it to him. Simple as that. You get the thing. But guess what, chat? We got another level, so now we gotta do that first. Shot in the back. Yeah, equal as much damage on myself from my allies and myself, I would say. Alright, let's get a new level in there. Let's see, let's see. <sighs> oh, we gotta choose again. I can, um... He's just gain no melee superiority bonus against the game. Let's just... What's a sniper? Melt the weapon. Melt the weapons. Like, melt the gun, multi-melt Multi-melt It sounds awesome. Um... Las, las weapons. That's laser weapons. Um... Two moon points. Don't need that. Flame weapon costs less. Lasso, melt the weapon. Multi melta sounds like something. Multi melta. Tandra multi melta bonus till the rogue trader. Rogue trader. Warhammer. Up it's a. Utte me skilter. Mater skilter. Better of it. 
Ta med en skurt i den här multimältarna fått så råg i träder. Och jag halva att man kokar så att vitt du. Outrightas. Outrightas han inbollat att man skutte weaponexperter. Solid projectile weapon expert. Solid projectile weapon? Isn't that guns? Weird. Um, isn't that just guns? Normal bullet. Drukari weapons overpower and when firing heavy weapons, critical hit chance increased by plus bomb BS. I finished you the Yucca multi melter line and multi melter line multi melters. Yeah, there it is. We could also get more intelligence. But uh, let's talk about this one. I'm gonna get um, the multi, the, the, the. Um, um, solid projectile weapon expert. You know what? We probably might get cooler weapons down the line. I'm gonna just take intelligence, okay? I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna get a basic stat increase. Can't press next. Alright, what are we doing here? Ah, we're taking this here too. Okay. Let's do perception on this one and then let's take extra intelligence on the other one. Get five of each, huh? There we go. And five perception, five intelligence. I like it. One rank available. Complete the rank, complete the look. Abelard is your time to, to shook. Now you only get this, you don't get an extra stat. You do? What is this? Now it's on this, this side instead of this side, okay. Contempt? I should hide my face, I'm sorry. I, you don't see it. Whenever an enemy attacks the warrior, the warrior's next melee attack against the enemy. Um, that against that enemy, it might die, so it's not that... In but this is the same thing as before. Epic, uh, thick skin. You already have this one. Okay, why to put it in the box then? I have no allies in adjacent cells. Ooh. Let's do epicenter of slaughter because it seems like it's like it's such an iconic thing. I will give him some uh, weapon skill. Huh? All right. Keep it simple, keep it simple, Idira. Let me tell you what, chat. We're not gonna get to chapter one completion today. Let's do that clear. But we'll get maybe the prologue done. Um Okay. Idira. Intelligence, lore, imperium, tech use. She's a little bit of a techie, isn't she? She's only got 30 though. I would expect intelligence to be, you know, you talk about the size skills, right? She's using size stuff. You can see the other comparisons if you want to focus on stuff. Her willpower is good. Yeah, willpower is the size stuff. But I can't pay. Oh, yeah, I can. It's recommended to not do that, though. Why does it say plus five willpower when I take? Huh? Chen? Hey, Kurosame, how you doing? Welcome in. What, hap what happens here? My willpower is 60 plus 10, it says. If I go here, it says plus 5, because it's max at 60? Also this one. I don't know what's going on! What? This is so, uh, so weird.
They're pretty confusing. Fine, I'll pick intelligence. I think it's just it's just overriding itself. I think it would actually get to 65, but uh, it's just a little bit screwed up. Because you can see it's a plus 5, and this has already been plus 5, plus 10. We're adding a new one, which is the orange one. As for her, yeah, I really don't know. Maybe you'll be our multi melter huh? <laughs> Flame weapon proficiency. Um, you know, I'll give you swift movements, you know, because you might be melee and you might be ranged. I'll give you the opportunity to do both. Talon's got up by five at least. Okay, so it updated only then. So maybe it would have updated on this green one. I think this one is like, is your normal passive bonuses and then... So when I'm adding my skill, it doesn't look... It looks like I'm going to lose it because it only adds it on afterwards. So this plus 10 would be there afterwards anyway. Right? So it's just a little bit misleading. It's the uh, tooltips aren't perfect. Uh, okay. Ballistic skill. Let's just do that. We got agility though, but let's just do ballistic skill. She's a shoot. Uh, rack and rune. Camaraderie is two more which adjacent ally. I can definitely use this as a strategy. Let's just do this one. Add some tactics to the mix. Okay, we got we got it. We got through another level. <laughs> so many leveling and so many levels in this one. And now the hero's cape. That goes to Ambalard. Abelard. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And you got a skull on yours. I only got like a little, little stupid like fur. I guess it's cool in a way, but you know, this is a cool skull you got. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You know, we can keep your stupid skull cape. I don't give a dang is. Uh, any other dares we could do? Let me just take a quick look at this one. Because, you know, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of creative ones. We'll see. We're going to complete the prologue. That's a given. Uh, raiding we could do. I'm, I'm actually unsure if it will do the raid, though. I'll take a look. But I also know Spider, I think, is also doing her partner celebration today. I kind of want to give her a raid. We'll see. Kill five enemies with one attack. Oh, that we could have... Uh, but that's going to be tough, though. I don't know if that's possible with our stuff. Complete chapter three. Finish the game. Make a proper review video. Make your own trailer. Must include footage of own gameplay. But that's going to be later, though. I'd have to show this off. I don't know. That's a lot of work. But it could be fun to make a dumb trailer. That's two keys. That's two keys. Finish the game, we get three keys. Prop review video. What if you make a review video and then you post it and then there's called Mara and they're gonna say You oh it's only YouTube. Uh, I I do have a YouTube, I just haven't made it on the website. But anyway, I could probably whatever we'll at least do one of them okay usually there's a lot of creative ones which i like and there's chain lightning might be able to do it oh yeah you're right we need to stack then though stack a lot of the basic ones but we'll see we'll see well we definitely did two two kills in one but that's not five <laughs> okay everybody Let's go. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of bad shit just happened here. Core officer is damaged. I do like that we regen our HP though after every fight. That takes a lot of the burden away from the from the whole um, game. I like that. She seemed to be uh, shocked or something. What's wrong? What's wrong? Fresh injury. Okay, I'll do a med kit. Seed from a trap or sudden large amount of damage. Yeah, who could that be? Who could have that have been? 
That was actually received from, from the dude who shot. He shot her twice. Bad shit in Warhammer equals Tuesday. But to me, it was Tuesday. Uh, we have a med kit. At least Avalar does. Would you mind using it on her? I'm blood. Your Seneschal is always there for you. F1 into Idira. This wound will make a fine scar. There Thank it is. You. This wound will make a fine scar. I don't want a scar. We won. We won. Bridge officer. Hello. Can we talk over there? We cannot, alas. I think we can't talk to Edelfrad. He looks kind of dead. He looks a little bit problematic. Oh, yeah. Did we ever get full... Um, did we ever get... What's going on here? Hello? Um, chat? Working. Working game. Um. Yeah, so why is this? This is hiding whenever we have the entire group available. But if we don't have I'm one dude, ready. then it's there again. But why is it... I just do this thing around and that also changes. The same button changes slots. Yeah, I think we actually killed it right before the momentum hit because I was looking at the momentum gauge. It was Argenta. We shot. I think Idira had 14 damage at the end there. Yeah, whatever it was. What is dismantling? See, I. I... Heroic act. I have to dismantle this orb? What's going on? What, what are we doing? Hello? What is going on? Why is dismantling attack over here? Okay. Can I please video I'll game? Excuse me, I just want to pip pip poppity boop. I think something's going terribly wrong here. Let's go save the game and reload it. Bip, bip, boppity, whoop, they go stoppity, hoop, they go sanity, hoop, they go sanity, hoop, they go sanity, hoop, they go sanity, hoop. The air is dead. Yeah, it was a bug. He sacrificed himself to save the entire dynasty. Entire dynasty. The noble deed. Let the crew offer prayers for the hero who renounced his impure life in the name of humanity. Reva, Master Helmsman, Systems Status Report. Uh, by the Emperor, it's the Senesha, uh, living and breathing! The white-haired man with the sickly pale skin salutes you. Well, that's a tricky question. The whole place is so overgrown with foul wickedry, we'll be scrubbing it off the windscreens for throw knows how long. We need to re-establish contact with the Navigator Sanctum. It is our only chance of escaping from the warp. Your words seem to knock the officers out of their stupor, and the air around you fills with voices and commands being issued. You hear someone sobbing. One of the survivors buckling under the stress. Abelard cuffs the crying officer without even looking. Restore the Vox Channel to the Navigator Sanctum. Ready the crew. Prepare for translation to real space. Abelard pauses for a few seconds before turning to you. Baldurius, you may call me superstitious, but translation is not a good time to disregard rules. You are the only one who speaks for House von Valancius. 
You may not be the Lord Captain, but you, more than anyone else, deserve to take her place in the ritual that is about to commence. He directs your attention upward to the throne that sits at the apex of the tall staircase. How did you people survive in here? The man glances around the bridge. It must have been Providence. It better have been the Emperor's, not someone else's. Any bards in here, they're ones with the Master Whispers. Some officers charged them. But it wasn't even a fight. I grabbed whoever I could and dragged them behind the cogitators and then prayed for our rescue. Um, what must I do? I take the Lord Captain's seat, order the final preparations, I wait for the officers to report. <laughs> Blast it to the void. Translation is a craft, not something to be explained in the tick. Uh, just go up the throne, Master Baldurius. These people are about to do the impossible. The least they deserve is the solace of a seeing a figure sitting in the usual spot. Please, hurry. Even every second we waste is a terrible risk. Uh, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Thank, come on, good, great. Okay, tea anybody? It's been boiling for an hour. How many times have you, chat, accidentally put on the water heater? What's it called? The hot water cooker. How many times have you done it in a row without having tea or anything else? Come on, be honest. Be open. Kettle. I have done it three times. I managed to forget it three times. I put on the put the thing on the hot the water heater once because kettle is different kettle will just continuously cook 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 right but the the water van cook it what's a water cooker that's what you call it right I've done it three times I put on it on forgot about it put it on again forgot about it again I guess it was four times because I forgot about it again four times would be correct because the fourth time was the victory. Yeah, they yeah, electric kettles, that's what I meant, like how those things, um, so it's a kettle, okay. I always think like a kettle would be like a stove. But not three times, okay, so you win. I've done it three or four, that's like my max, but the thing is I don't own, I don't own it anymore. I only do, I, I only do a uh, stove top in the room, yeah. Because I was playing video games and stuff, right? I put it on, I forgot, I was playing video games. Like, oh fuck, I forgot about it again. And again. I like, fuck, fuck, I did it again, I forgot. Because you play a new batch and you forget. You forget your steeping tea here, so you steep it for like 20 minutes and it tastes bitter as fuck? That's also possible. Let me read the story here, sorry. The image before you was hazy. <laughs> in sorcerer's currents, invisible to mortal eyes. As if whatever is beneath this thin shell is constantly changing while still remaining the same. It has taken on the guise of Theodora, but the false rogue trader's eyes reveal the entity's true, surreal nature. One of Theodora's eyes is engulfed in otherworldly fire. The other, a vessel of ancient evil, bores into you. A voice seeps directly into your brain without ever reaching your ears, and this voice becomes booms with all the horrors of the warp. Who are you? To pose destiny itself for the sake of lives that are not your own. So many threads stretch between you and other creatures of our your world. Pitiful, worthless links. Ready to shatter the slightest touch. A muddled, erratic, pointless tangle. It resonates and merges with the voices that have already dug their foul roots into your consciousness. A moment later, you realize that all these voices are the myriad manifestations of the same call that has finally invaded your mind. I I'm saving my people. Do your worst. You can't stop me. Theodore lets out a long screech, a shrill, overwhelming sound that can only be interpreted as a laughter. <laughs> Leave them, mortal. Guide them, persuade them, force them to walk your path. You lead followers, for destiny is preordained. Void give him.
Your head begins to spin and vicious drops slither down your cheeks. You blink. You're no longer looking at Theodora. It is a trait trait of Voigtvir, just as fluid and ephemeral as the previous apparition. The same terrifying voice seethes from his lips. The aspirant vowed to return with a trophy, a relic that could serve the edge of daybreak. That fate was assured, and the steps chosen. And yet, you broke the unbreakable when you took the aspirant's place. I see you on the day when the final dawn rises over the Iron World. I see you by my side on the day, the day of my resurrection. The image is scattered by invisible sorcerer's winds, and you see Idira, her eyes aglow with the same sinister flame. Your image is woven into the tapestry of things to come. I am the wheel of the weaver of destinies, and today I will weave a new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. The thread that will lead you out of the maw of irreversibility. Irres you suck it. Fuck, fuck you. That's what I'm saying. The thread that will help you find the keys to salvation. The thread that will guide you and the weapon of our to return to me. To return. Fuck you too. <laughs> a cavalcade of hazy glimpses of a future yet unknown passes before your eyes. A flash of crimson, purple. The image replace one another in a violent kaleidoscope without ever letting you get a proper look at them. Through the rippling mirage, you see a twisted image of Abelard, the loyal seneschal of the dynasty. Same voice, I guess? I'm just gonna do his voice. The path is set. Child of the Dawn. Whoops! Uh, uh, everything's okay. Uh, Master Raver turns around and looks up at you. He hesitates for a few moments, then addresses Abelard, who's standing next to you. Seneschal, the navigator sanctum is silent. Vox signal is stable, which means... And Lord nods absentmindedly. The navigator gave his battling the storm and ne nearly claimed the Von Valance's flagship. We will honor his memory along with that of all who died this day. Raver does not look away. He's giving you a hard stare. His white brows furrowed. Senator, will you tell us now? Who, who is that? Where's the Lord Captain? As first officer, oh. it is my duty He's back. to inform you with the greatest regret and indelible sorrow that Lord Captain Theodora von Falatius is dead. May her memory never fade from the annals of the dynasty. Ah, yes. By right of blood succession, and with the absence of other kin who could challenge this decision, I will say nothing. It is hereby declared that the successor to Theodora von Valencius is her heir, the rightful inheritor of the warrant of trade, and the title of rogue trader. The official ascension ceremony will be held at a later time. In the interim, uh, have you lost your tongues? Hail your lord. It is because of his toils that we all still live. Hail, Lord Helmet. The deed is done. In my apologies, I meant to say Lord Captain. Yeah, because my name would be weird. We did it. We we got. Well, this is probably done. Prologius Dunius. The treachery of the Master of Whispers was fruitless, but victory came at a great cost. Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius perished along with her heir Edelthrad and thousands of crew members. GG, we won. Yet hope remained. For the second in line to the Rogue Trader dynasty survived. To the Rogue Trader, it says in the subtitles. Excuse me! Save those who were counting on him for protection. La 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 la! Painted by Joseph, 10 years old. You could play the prologue. There it is. There it is. Oop. There it is. About the tea conversation we had earlier. You have the old school. Hold on a second. Uh, where it whistles when it's boiling. Oh, that's cute. 
You drank tea before that was tea before an hour, or is it a 10 minutes? So 10 minutes is always bad. Had two half into two separate cups to fill up with fresh hot water. It's very bitter. It's not fun. Just take another one. Tea is cheap. Where is the wag? The wag isn't here yet. I mean, it's probably in a different universe of the universe of the universe in Warhammer, so... House has been uh, a little bit boggy, but good. Uh, so, if you don't mind things breaking a little bit and being a little bit buggy, I think the game is actually pretty damn interesting. Uh, so, just expect a lot of, like, weirdness and save and load, and it'll be fine. It's because if you imagine, like, the game would be as smooth as butter, then I think that this is a really, really, really good game. So, I think the only thing holding it back is the bugs and some weirdness. It don't surprise me, yeah. I mean, our cat studios. Abelard. Deep shadows of weariness can be seen on Abelard's face. The old officer's eyes are keen. They rake over you from head to toe. He frowns, mutters something, and nods to himself. Well then, your lordship. You cannot help but notice that the Seneschal does not know how to talk to you, or where to begin. His hesitation brings an involuntary smirk on your face. As though someone else entirely is gloating at the old officer's confusion. Seeing your smile, Ablot pulls himself together. You must now hold your first officer's briefing in your new role as Lord Captain. For many of those who are about to join us on the bridge, this will also be their first briefing. We sustained massive losses among the senior and middle-ranking officers. Some posts have had to be filled by the deputy's deputy's deputy, while others go unfulfilled entirely. And now, the deck clans are deciding who will take over the leaderless crews. How did we come to lose so many officers? Well, it appears the heretics were deliberately targeting the vessel's command. They knew exactly whom they were looking for and where they could be found. Which is unsurprising, given that their informant on board was our own Master of Whispers. What is on the agenda for this meeting? Reports on the condition of the ship and crew. The Lord Captain is not usually drawn away from her important affairs to attend such routine briefings, but this is a unique situation. I'm still receiving updates from across the ship. They're not encouraging. Getting this boat to fly could take a gargantuan effort, even so, for as, so far as you personally negotiating with the authorities of the system currently in. So, prepare to hear a bevy of complaints and excuses, Your Lordship. Take this opportunity to get a good look at the officers who work six decks away from the bridge. They, in turn, will have the honor of beholding the visage of their Lord Captain. Have you succeeded in tracking down, Voitvir? He grits his teeth. No, my Lord Captain. In all the commotion, his trail went cold. Our people are still on the hunt for him, and any mutineers who may still be skulking in the ship's many corridors, but frankly, I would not be surprised to hear that we are... Now one shuttle short. I'm afraid there will be some time before he answers for all that he has brought. Wait, Avalor, there is an altogether more pressing problem. I don't wish to... No, 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 I'm fine. I'm ready. I am, I am the rogue trader entirely. I like power. I'm ready to start the briefing. Summon the officers. With a gesture, Avalor relays, relays the order to the adjutants. Adjutants, right? Adjutants. At the far end of the magnificent chamber. Cornflakes. Cornflakes. It's great. I love 40k um, visuals. I just never got into the lore. This is the first time I kind of actually get some stuff into the lore, except for the time you played Bolt Gun and the chat was kind of explaining stuff to me. You forgot since last stream? Hey! Uh, basic is not too big. We are a little bit unsecure. They were like, okay, who are we? We're doing here. What's going on? And then we get to the rogue traders. He's like, well, the thing is, you are you and Edelthrad is kind of my heir. So I just want you guys to be, you know, we got to set you guys up in case some shit happens. You're going to be there. You got to learn the ropes a little bit. Stand and like do some normal work first. But then shit hit the fan. Everybody's shooting everybody. And now we're learning about the lore as we go. So what's going on? Everybody's kind of like, oh, what the hell? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Oh, he was an informant. He was a spy. The spy was a spy. And now the adult threat died and became this huge monster. We killed him. And now we're the only one that's remaining. And we're now in charge. 
and we're doing we're improvising. You just realized I've forgotten how to infuse tea. Should drink more tea. It's pretty simple. You put it into water at a specific temperature that fits the tea, that says it on the back of the tea, or the package of the tea, and then you do it for the amount of time it says on the tea, and then you put take it out, you eat the tea bag, and you flush the rest down the toilet. A dozen pairs of eyes bore into you. The expressions revealing restraint, joy, curiosity, and weariness. Attention, officers! You have been granted an honor. Lord Captain Baldurius von Falancius will personally conduct today's briefing. Our most gracious Lord Captain is ready to hear your reports. Um, uh, perhaps you would introduce uh, those present, Avalon. As you wish, your lordship. Avalon points to a tall, slender woman whose body seems to contain as many implants as it does flesh. Uh, Vigdis Suri Otta of the Toleman line, our new Voxmaster. Voxmaster Vigdis. Oh, are we still okay? My, uh, my OBS clock almost crashed again. We're doing good? We're doing good. Okay, good to hear that. It isn't. <laughs> I am panicking, but it's okay. Voxmaster Vigdis. This is called Vigdis, so excuse my accent, okay? It is an honor to serve your lordship. Voxmaster offers a deep bow. Aboard this vessel, you have at your command thousands of crew members and hundreds of officers and section chiefs. I am responsible for receiving, pro processing, and sending all communications between you and them, as well as external sources. I am your eyes and mouth, Lord the Captain. Beside her is Ravo, the Master Helmsman. He steers our ship along the course set by the Lord Captain and monitors the void around us. To ensure that we do not stray into an asteroid field or a pirate trap. The bearded man with the pale, almost transparent skin, large dark circles under his eyes, and a dour expression that seems hardwired into his face, gives a silent nod. Hey, Lord Captain! This here ship's as good as home to me! So rest assured she's in safe hands! I'll die before I let her come to any grief. And lastly, our high factotum, Janrus Danrock. What's your name? J that can't be right. Sorry. It needs to be Janrus Danrus. Janice Dandruff to the stage, who oversees supplies, procurement, and the general material well being of the ship. High factotum, Janrus Danrock. Dressed in an embroidered jacket, the heavy set man with oiled hair offers an obsequious smile and bows. It is an honor, your lordship. You may trust me with all matters concerning your comfort. Everything will be done to the highest standard. In the second row, we have the three officers charged with overseeing the ship's vital functions. The Mass of Ordnance is responsible for the artillery aboard. The Infernus Master, whose crew work to prevent and extinguish fires on the ship. And lastly, the Drives Master. Servant of Omnislash. No, wait, no, that's Omni... Omnis... Omnisia. Sorry, that's... Fine, it's Cloud. The three officers salute you. The Infernus Master does so with confidence, while the Master of Ordnance betrays nervousness. The Drives Master offers a salute resembling a dance involving the complicated manipulation of the Tech Priestess... M. Is that everyone? Uh, thank you, Ablard. Uh, greetings uh, to you all. I serve at your pleasure, Lord Captain. How I just sound like Picard? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Thank you. People either say, whenever I do my, like, majestic voice... When I do my majestic voice, my British voice, I either... The people think that I do either... Patrick Stewart or like a Matt Berry thing, which is a good compliment either way. Um, I'll get a well known for supporting their games well into the future. Oh, good, good. And bought a nice tea from a Japanese store. It has a nutty flavor and aromatic. The only problem is that it doesn't come in bags. Okay, so then you need, if you don't have a uh, infuser, like a steel chain thing, whatever. Like a ball, an iron ball which has holes in them. 
you can use um, coffee if you have coffee filters you can use that just dip it in the water that's fine you can do that as well just something that you know it will seep through something that would seep but instead of having you could also just actually put it in the drink and then just like if you have a um, what's it called you can put the fresh tea leaves or whatever in the drink and you can strain it strain it through the actual thing you'll use afterwards that also works Anyway, you praise the Omni Slash. It looks like Elrond. Well, thank you, Kur Kurosin. Um, I wish to hear the Infernus Master's report. Faisal Nazy. Yes, Lord Captain. <laughs> His knee sounds like a nasal, okay? The tall young man bows his head in difference. I can report that all fires across all decks have now been extinguished. The preliminary damage assessment in terms of material losses and crew casualties has been completed. The results have been submitted to the Seneschal and the High Factotum. The post passed to him after the previous Infernus Master and his next three deputies expired in the line of duty. Ablod remarks in a low voice pitched for yours only. The land is managing well so far. Can take the heat, so to speak. Hi, Factotum, what have you to report? We are tolling day and night to compile a full account of the losses. The task will require next to no involvement from your lordship. I will personally ensure that all damaged components are given into the tech priest's hands for attention that all lot supplies are replaced. There is only one resource that I can't replenish single handedly, and that is people. We have lost more than 2,000 crew members, and unfortunately, this number is not confined to the scum from the lower decks, which are easily replaced, but also includes trained professionals. We will be able to make up our losses on the nearest plane, Raikad Minoras. However, the planet, the whole system in fact, belongs to the winter scale rogue trader dynasty. We can't simply begin recruiting on the planet without first coming to an understanding with the governor. In that respect, I am powerless. Negotiations at this level are a matter of the rogue trader. Especially true given Caligos' winter skills penchant for attacking first and at asking questions later. And the kind of thick-skulled thugs he usually installs as governors on his planets, rumbles Abelard, frowning. Uh, d uh, drives, Master. I'll hear from you now. Zira Talar, a voice distorted by a Vox retranslator, emerges from under the tech priest Scarlet Hood. Lord Captain, the foes had set upon this noble void ship destroyed the. Oh, okay, we'll do a different one for this as well. Fine, we'll try to remember everything. Lord Captain, the foes had set upon this noble void ship destroyed the repositories of hundreds of machine spirits. The great warp engine entrusted into my charge is unharmed. Thank the Omni Slash, but its spirit mourns its dead brethren. We have not yet identified the prayer protocol capable of assuaging its sorrow and anger. With great sorrow, I must also report that the engine seer, prime overseer, and spiritual authority of all tech priests on board fell in battle. The Magos was betrayed by the little flesh that remained part of him. A most terrible loss. There is no one among my comrades aboard whose experience and comprehension of the sacred protocols equals that of the fallen Magos. We require a replacement as soon as possible. Uh, I see. Thank you. The tech priest bows her head. Otherwise, new engines here who may be found somewhere in the system. Uh, oh, fuck you. Being in drug trade is so annoying. Business. Helmsman, you're next! Right, you are, Lord Captain. To cut a long story short, the outlook is bleak. The ship sound, more or less, but without our engines here, Prime and Navigator, who fell in battle, we have no way out of the system. If we try to set as much as a toe inside the warp, I don't know what'll happen first. A warp drive being torn to pieces, or all of us being melted into bulkheads. Your Lordship, if you allow me to interject, uh, when we arrived in the system, my crew followed standard protocols and conducted a count of all the available communication channels in the region. 
One of them was a Navy Snowbolite station. The station maintains complete Vox silence, but even its presence here inspires hope. To have located the navigator in the very same system is an incredible stroke of luck. A true blessing from the God Emperor. A sharp bolt of pain lances through your skull, as if in response to what you just heard. Some Nordic accident that sounds ridiculous, like Peter Solberg. You understand that it's not the God Emperor you should thank for such good fortune, but the Rally Masters themselves. The words of the daemon that appeared before you during the translation to real space echo in your mind. I am the will of the Weaver of Destinies, and today I will weave a new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. A thread that would lead you out of the maw of irreversibility. A thread that will help you find the keys to salvation. If I were you, I'd grab this chance with both hands, or else you'll soon be eyeing up asteroids to use as your new residence. In slightly less shitty news, we can go round and round the system till our heads are swimming as long as the Promethium and supplies last. And if any thick as grok shit lowlifes come sniffing around, we'll be able to take them out. So don't worry about that score. Master of Ordnance, do you have anything to report? Uh, Master of Ordnance gives you a gloomy look. No, my job's simple. Maintain the arsenal and fire where I'm told. But just ask Eddie, what? Well, we've not got no able crew. No, look, Captain, no. Master of Ordnance, you forget yourself. So what? Comes the officer's hostile and bitter reply. It is as if a dam had burst inside and all his pent up emotions are rushing out of it. A ship's in ruins! Every second office is dead! And now we've got a green lord captain who's supposed to lead us to void to who knows where! Silence! The bridge's magnificent glass panes seem to tremble under the force of Avalard's roar. Enforcers! Seize this mutineer! <laughs> you slapped me! Why did you slap me? If only one officer out of the whole lot has fallen to pieces, and that's not bad at all, your lordship. I do humbly apologize on behalf of the entire crew. What would you have us do with Master of Ordnance? The former Master of Ordnance, I should say. Besides, find a replacement, that is, for we already have one lined up. I could now choose Iconoclast or Dogmatic. Ooh. I could say release him. Or execute him. Or say, experience Master of Ordnance have a few and far in between. Hmm. There's just being real. Silence. Shh. Listen to what the flower people say. He's like, are you okay, Lord Master Commander? Uh, uh, uh listen. Shh. Getting louder every day. Why is he singing Spinal Tap? I, I like it, but it's weird. We should be taking responsibility here. I don't know. Uh, do I want to be? I want to be a little bit crazy, but at the same time, I don't know. Set the stage. Do you want to set, the, set an example? I don't know. Let's execute him. Fuck him. <laughs> Consider it done. Take him away. Bye. Have a nice afterlife. The brittle laughter of massive ordnance reverberates around the bridge as he is led to his fate. <clears throat> to summarize. We have sustained serious losses in crew members and require a new engine seer, prime and navigator. Is this all that is preventing us from continuing the voyage? Precisely, Lord Captain. But bear in mind that this will not be the end of our trials. The ship systems must be properly inspected for major damage, which can only be carried out at the football station. <laughs> for it's at the football station, we have to go to Brazil, home to the only dockyard in the sector. But we will never reach football without first solving these three immediate problems. 
Ah, all right. What can you tell me about the system in which we currently find ourselves? I see to the Vox Mars on this point, Mistress Tolliman. We are in the Rykat star system, and our voyage here was undertaken uh, on the orders of your lordship's predecessor. There are three inhabited bodies in the system, and our attempts to send Vox messages have produced confounding results. The Navy's Nobelite station has not simply failed to answer. It seems to be maintaining total Vox silence. However, we did receive a distress signal from the prison planetoid in the system. And Rykad Minoris uh, itself is also not responding to our hails. But what is most alarming is that our augurs have intercepted signals from the surface that seem to indicate ongoing hostilities on the planet. The situation is not very encouraging. But without a navigator, a tech priest, and new crew members, we won't be able to travel anywhere. Therefore, we must go to the planet and the Navis Nobelite Station and find out what in the void is going on. Thank you, uh, all reports. Thank you very much, everybody. Great job. Have some tea. Dismissed. Yes, uh, Lord, Com Com Lord Commander. Jesus. Your Lordship, there, there is one other thing. A confidential matter of the utmost importance. Lady Theodora, your eternally esteemed predecessor, uh, brought the ship here to this system for a reason. She was given a secret commission. You perhaps are wondering who has the authority to commission a rogue trader to do anything. I shall tell you. The Lord Inquisitor, the Hand of the Emperor, chief architect of his will in the Coronas Expanse. Uh, is that so? And what is this task to which she was entrusted? Lady Theodora was to seek out the Lord Inquisitor's right-hand man, one Heinrichs van Kallax, an interrogator, you understand. All I know is that he is somewhere in the system, and we must find him and offer him whatever assistance he requires, and then deliver him to a football station in the Furibunda system. Finding him without any more information to go on will be difficult, but... An Inquisitor is an important individual. The authorities in the system, either the Navius Nobelites or the Governor of Riker Mineris, may know something. That is all of it, Your Lordship. You have a great deal of work ahead of you, but it is a mere taste of the daily burden of a rogue trader. Soon you must take up the reins of the Fon Falancius Protectorate. Abelard gives you another scrutinizing look, as if trying to gauge how long you will hold out under this mountain of problems. His face softens slightly, and it seems he's about to offer some words of encouragement. But then he fails. Oh, yeah, then people come out for the bloom. Idira, Sister Argenta, explain yourself. I can't remember her voice at all. Sister Bal, Griminars, the Psyker is suffering some ailment, a dark madness. She insisted on seeing the rogue traitor. I judge that it would be unwise to just leave her unsupervised. She, for a brief moment, she hesitates. I was also hoping to approach you with a personal request, but it can wait. Speak with me when you have time. Idira's glazed eyes roll over those assembled. One word bursts from her lips. Daybreak. If Idira comes to your senses! Damn it! Idira presses her fingers to her temples in desperation. To your lordship, here's the thing. I was trying to see the immediate future and it hit me so hard. My head is still spinning. Something very strange is heading our way. I can't make out what it is, no matter how hard I try. A single word is all I can make out. Daybreak. Daybreak? With an E and an H at the end. Or maybe it's a dawn breaker. It isn't ringing and ringing like an echo, like a bell. But if it's a daybreaker, then why is it so darker? We can't extract any information of value from a single word. Can you tell us anything else, Mr. Stlas? Not yet, anyway. The voices are going a berserk. All shouting at once, I can't make sense of any of it. As soon as I know or sense anything, I'll report it all, right? Lord Captain, if you want me to take a closer look into your future, Find me on the bridge and we can talk. Lady Theodora was well served by my whispers on many occasions. I'm sure you would benefit from them as well. The psyker's bitten lips stretch into a wry smile. If there's nothing else of value to report, I declare this briefing concluded. It's time to get to work.
What a busy... I feel like I'm in command, you know? I, all these people to talk to and talk with. Use the map system. It's already eight hours, but we'll get our grips first before we go. But this is a good place, though. No, oh, my, it's my chair! It's, it's bending! No one sit in my chair. Fig this. A thin, pale woman stands out among the rest of the crew. There's a thick bundle of cables coming out the back of her skull and disappearing under a ceremonial garment. And you see the grate of quietly humming vox where her mouth should be. The woman sees you and bows her head in a respectful greeting. How may I serve you, Lord Captain? Fellowship 40. Connect me to the vessel's main channel. I wish to bolster the morale of my crew. Succeeded. I just gain experience. And nods obediently, obediently and presses several switches on the device she's holding. Gained 44 experience. You address the crew with a rousing speech and hear your voice roll through the ship. Reaching even the normally quiet corners of the vessel. When the broadcast ends, you hear distant shouts of approval. Ah! Hey, Korma. Hmm. Why do you look so strange? <laughs> my appearance comes from my heritage. Generation after generation of people who spent their lives being in the rally tournament. Neither we nor our ancestors have ever left our home, but the same can be said about many denizens of the Imperium's million worlds. We're used to the silence of the cosmos and the voices of our car. There are thousands of us, thousands of rally drivers, but we dwell far from the Lord Captain's upper decks and remain unseen. We are the rally racers. I see. Let us return to business. As you wish, Lord Captain. That is all. I live to serve, Lord Captain. <laughs> <laughs> um, bridge techno mat. Can I use you as a floor mat? So this is the main hub. To Lord Captain's quarters, I would assume. Can I hold space here too? No, that's pausing, okay. So unclean those carpets. I mean... Wait. I... Th uh, he was just here doing it, right? And he disappeared in a moment. Oh, there he is. Look, he's cleaning. He's just, like, doing what, el what other batches would do. And like, oh, it's, uh, you know, this apartment stinks. I should clean. I was gonna put some... I'm just gonna spray some... Some, um, smell on the floor, and maybe it'll, it will smell nicer here. I'm not gonna clean the floors, that's extra effort. I'm gonna spray the floor, floor with some Glade. That's gonna, that's good. Look at the mini ship. Oh, I guess it's scrolls. Bloody scrolls, or whatever it is. He was using incense to appease the machine spirits. <laughs> On my command. I say you clean those spirits away. I Those numbers are the devil's numbers. Get them away from me. Yes, sir, Lord Captain, sir. I don't want to see any sixes or nines, okay? I only like threes and fours. Sixes or nines, you get banned from the ship. I might execute you. There's loot. I wonder why we can, like, uh, reinvestigate here. Probably will open up more content later on. Yes! Salute me and go. Right now. Goods. Cracked data site. Ooh, 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 ooh. One, one. Ooh, 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 ooh. The final transactions with charters are complete. The fire reckoning is now fully equipped. Ooh, 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 ooh. Object has been loaded. Okay, whatever. It's, it's, it's like we can read it if we got our hacking or whatever. Cracked data slate.
unfinished letter. His chagrin, chagrin is irrelevant. Voigtveer's mistake cost me too much. Years of work, tremendous resources, all wasted. It's failed what he was supposed to be. Uh, he was supposed to be irreproachable at uncovering spies. And this one was a senior officer. I'm not about to discard him. Conrad has served me for too long towards removal to go painlessly for the protectorate. Besides, he's no fool. He could not have seriously expected to become the next in the Von Falanges line when his skills and talents as Master Whispers are so valuable. Let his disinheritance serve as a humiliating but instructive lesson from which he may yet learn. That seemed like an almost finished letter to me. Beyond the stained glass, the distant stars glimmer in the darkness of endless space, filling you with an odd sense of dread. It does look pretty dread. Pretty dready. Dready shreddy! There should be more loot here somewhere. Eh? Oh, I can pick up the thing. Oops, there it is. The water's calming murmurs and the warm steam feel inexplicably deceptive. A moment of weakness and rest promises nothing but danger. I guess we go back to the place where we go at this is this thing. There we go. Voice bridge. Oh thank you, Korma. Appreciate it. Now go clean those decks! I don't care what you think about the voice. You clean, this is a mess, there's goo everywhere. There's a loose tube on the floor. Bridge officer, have you seen the two behind you? My ship will not look like shit. Where's the other ones? It's just Abelard here. Lord Captain. And uh, Lord Belard. Lord Belland. Uh, call him by my first name, if you wish. I thank you for the honor. Mary. But I must decline. As a former military officer, I believe in the importance of order in all things, including the chain of command. You are the Lord Captain, my direct superior. I am not prepared to address you in any way other than as regulation dictates. Let's talk about things that may be useful to me as rogue trader. A noble aspiration, Lord Captain. I am ready to acquaint you with all the particulars that interest you. Outline the situation in the coordinate expanse for me. And what do I need to know and keep in mind? This is a topic for an official briefing, not a casual conversation. No, I refuse. I, I, I will try to answer succinctly. Thank you. And if you permit, in my own words. The Coronas expanse is considerably removed from the heart of the Imperium. This means that local warp routes become Didn't useless I once. within months. Established pathways are regularly subject to attacks from all kinds of rabble. And in the only major port, the Imperium's frigates find themselves moored alongside pirate vessels. You lost me. Until recently, the Coronas Expanse could hardly have been called a region of the Imperium. The situation has changed with the arrival of the Lord Inquisitor, but not by much. Thanks, this place operates under its own rules, you see. More radical, so to speak. But ones that allow for a non-standard approach where there is a promise of victory. The Corona's Expanse is considered rogue trader territory for a reason. Only rogue traders have sufficient military might, audacity, and the rights granted them by the Warrant to survive the leap into the unexplored part of the Expanse, and in the event of a successful outcome, to hold on to whatever they manage to capture on the frontier. That was a, a mouthful. Only rotors have sufficient military might. Audacity in the rights of them. Thank you again, Wops, for the compliment. I appreciate that. And you sleep well. Um, want to survive the leap and expert part. 
Okay, who are the main who are the main players I need to be aware of in the Corona's expanse? In the first instance, you should treat official representatives of the Imperium with respect. Or should I go then? The expanse may be on the fringes, okay. but it still numbers among the territories of the Golden Throne. The arrival of the Lord Inquisitor has turned the Coronas Expanse into a less wild and uncontrolled region, to the regret of some individuals who had grown inured to the local lawlessness. Rogue traders such as yourself are also servants of the Imperium. They have been accorded special rights and powers. They wield immense authority within their territory, and they enjoy absolute respect in other parts of the Expanse. The most powerful of them are Caligos Winterscale, and Incendia Bastal Chorda. Tread carefully when dealing with either of them. Caligos Winter Skill sounds like I'm talking to a dragon. If we are to speak of unclaimed territory, which is what Footfall is, among the scum that dwells on that handful of asteroids, there are three factions that wield notes, considerable take influence notes. in the sector. The first is the Kazbala Commission, organized crime in its most primitive form. It holds sway over the liege of Footfall, and has links to rogue trader Winterscale. The second faction is an offshoot of our shining Ecclesiarchy, followers of St. Drusus. They are actively building their forces, and hold influence over rogue trader Chorda. And finally, the third faction, the Explorators, a wing of the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are willing to die and kill for the secrets of the ancient technological heresies that are hidden among the stars of the Coronas Expanse. Uh, oh, Conrad, sorry. Uh, our previous Master of Whispers, uh, what can you tell me about... Oh, that's all well and good, by the way. What can you tell me about his betrayal? What do you think he'll do next? Oh, you know, Lord Captain, I am no admirer of fine art. But when we next find ourselves in a civilized port with time to spare, I will promptly find an artist and commission a portrait of the individual to whom you refer, with a hole between the eyes. Conrad Voitfeer. That he committed his that treachery and escaped with his life was an unforgivable oversight. That was a weird little thing he went down. Hey, Dragon. We both served Lord Captain Theodora for many years, I... and we never saw eye to eye. Oh, he, he was and him okay. brash. He was never afraid of assuming responsibility, and he willingly took on difficult tasks. I am loath to admit it, but the Von Valatius Protectorate continues to reap the fruits of his labors to this day. His service always garnered my respect. But everything else about him made me want to wring the neck of that two-faced snake. Continue. If Ringing. you are taking comfort in the thought that we will hear no more of Conrad, Prepare to be disappointed. You thwarted his plans, his meticulously plotted and nurtured treachery. <laughs> he is sure to attempt to strike at you, and he will use his contacts and knowledge of the Protectorate to do so. The only question, Lord Captain, is whether you will be able to anticipate his next steps. Yes, oh, very good, thank you. As you wish, Lord Captain. I must take my leave. Lord Captain. And I think I must take my leave as well. It's cardio day. And I'm... This is all, already a little bit late. But I can... The thing is, running in the street is okay. But now, it's like... It's so slippery. But if I use my my boots with... Okay, you don't need to know this. It's fine. <laughs> I'll deal with that. But uh, it's getting late. I should um, do something else. Uh, save. I'll save the... I can't save the... Go out of dialogue. Save the game. Uh, save and get out. Game saved. Exit the desktop. Insert boot. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I, I got like those anti slip shoes, but they suck on normal. So it's nice to be able to go in the woods, uh, but it's gonna be so damn dark in there. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks again for Warhammer 40k and their drop for um, allowing me to be sponsored. To play Rogue Trader. Thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity. And uh, we got at least one key. We could raid, but the thing is, like, we could raid it on the stream playing Rogue Trader. I'll see, but the thing is, I think I know that Spider's doing her little partner celebration thing, and that kind of. Uh, it's a little bit fun to say hello to do that. 